When was the last time you stood in wonder of God? Seriously. God is amazing. I was in wonder today at the trees. <laughs> Think about that. These things give us shelter. They give animals habitat. They preserve our life by preserving the breath for us, purifying the breath for us to live. Some of them provide food. Some of them, like this uh, tree here, uh, this one particular one right here, with the reddish bark, see it? This tree uh, is called the Pacific Yew. Um, it's uh, an evergreen tree with red bark, um, but its needles, the leaves, contain a cancer-fighting agent called Taxol. But what's also interesting is the Native Americans used this uh, tree to make superior bows, um, canoe paddles, and other tools. But it's an interesting tree. But trees are gifts from God, and we do a lot of things with them. Some are food, some are medicine, but others are uh, still our shelter. And for as modern as we think we are as man, <laughs> we're still building our homes out of trees. It is one of God's greatest gifts. No wonder David sat and wrote... and likened himself like a tree planted by the rivers of water to a tree that both sustains its life in you, in God and gives life that is exactly how we are to be to sustain our lives in God and give life to others through God to inspire to breathe in to someone else's life just as we are here through inspiration we are born to live inspiration to others is this making sense to you? It is not religion. It is life. God is life. This is not some foreign concept that you have to believe in. You just have to open your eyes <laughs> and look at life. And then believe that life itself created it. God. And understand his presence. So, my simple prayer is this. As I stand here, there are two meeting places here. At the Magnus Tree Farm. One over there, um, you can't see it. It's got a fire pit and some chairs and a barbecue. And the other is this uh, little outbuilding here that uh, I would love to just come and worship here when it's raining. Bundle up if you have to. Bring hand warmers, bring a heater. Let's worship God in His presence. Why not? I mean, seriously. And then from here, after worshiping God, we go into authentic, deeper community with one another in our homes. And some of you, God will call to 
pastor or shepherd your group to take care of each other, to lead as you take care of each other. That's what the word pastor means. And we'll grow together in community as God has created us. From the Magnus Tree Farm, this is a road less traveled, and I'm going to say it. Get out there.